Welcome back to Film Time. Danny. I've it's, seen it. But you served it. So understand your cook up. Spike TV's Bar Rescue premiered in 2011 and has become a bit of an obsession to anyone that has stumbled across it. The premise is simple enough. Longtime food and beverage industry consultant John Taffer does his best to transform failing trashy bars into slightly more successful trashy bars, all while dealing with less than cooperative owners of the establishments. Taffer claims he's a student of bar science and that he can turn any business around. Yet, not all the bars on Bar Rescue ultimately get saved. So far to date, in three seasons, 60 bars have been rescued. Of those 60, 14 have closed and 13 had either changed the rebranded name back or altered it again. Going through every season of the hit Spike TV show, we found Taffer's failures. Not even the man with a doctorate in what he calls bar science, the man who is in the nightclub hall of fame, and the man who invented NFL Sunday Ticket could save every bar. Here are some bars that John Taffer couldn't save. J.A. Murphy's. Taffer couldn't do it again. Season 2 proved to be a tough one for him. This fourth bar, J.A. Murphy's in Fells Point, Baltimore, went down just under a few months after its rescue. It seemed too little too late for the bar to succeed and the owners were forced to shut it down. Rumor has it that there were also structural damage to the site that simply couldn't be fixed in 36 hours with a bunch of seemingly crystal meth fuel contractors. The newly renamed Murphy's Law turned out to be yet another soulless bar created by Taffer down the tubes. Headhunters Taffer dubbed Headhunters in Austin, Texas the worst bar in America and it lived up to it with it being infested with roaches and employees who were literally paid nothing. He turned it into a steampunk bar renamed Metal and Lace. They're telling me there's roaches here every day. You don't see it? You don't know it? Chloe, why don't you tell me uh, about this? Why, why are you telling him that but not me? I've told you that we have a problem. You own this place. You're supposed to know these things. For some reason, because who doesn't love Victorian era science fiction in Austin? The awful owner eventually closed the bar, finally freeing his employees. They never really embraced their new name or gimmick. Steampunk died in Austin the day Headhunters went under. The Sand Dollar. The owners of Sand Dollar, renamed Bar 702, sold off the Las Vegas, Nevada bar in May 2014. This episode also got Taffer in trouble by generating a lawsuit against him and the show. They went after him for the way they were made to be seen on television with setup confrontations, making the bar seem worse than it was. Oh, John Taffer, will you ever learn? Okay, let I'll the excuses come. Well, I'm gonna give you a you can out. write them down. John, you're standing three feet in front of him. Is that right? No, I turned it down. So why is it happening if you know it's not right? So Wanky Bubbles. Swanky Bubbles in Philadelphia was remade as Sheer Philly in season one. Within months of Swanky Bubbles getting rescued, it was closed down. Actually, they changed the name back to Swanky Bubbles almost immediately once Taffer was gone. Philly has lost its premier champagne bar and now they don't know what to do with themselves. Kilkenny's Irish Pub Kilkenny's Irish Pub in California was mismanaged straight to hell and Taffer did his best but couldn't get it done. The pub got a whole new look and a new name, Breakwall. But the mismanagement of the sisters who ran the place couldn't be overcome. It didn't help that from the look of the episode, they both seemed to be sitting with their bar manager. Taffer fixed the bar, but what he really needed to do here was fix the people. That's going to take us to the end of our video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. John Taffer, if you're watching, nothing against you, buddy, but yeah, you messed up. If you enjoyed the video, like the video, and subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of our content in the future. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.